What's up guys, it's your boy A-Dub back again with another one. Before we get started, don't forget to like this video. It'll help the channel out a lot. Subscribe to the channel, it'll help the channel out a lot. Don't forget to go visit alanaway.com and buy some channel merch. It'll help the channel out a lot. And that's what we're trying to do, help each other out. Now guys, let's just jump into it. All of us start trying to start our own business, trying to be self-sufficient. And the key to being self-sufficient is to getting to the dollars, collecting your money, and collecting your money in a convenient way. A lot of people don't carry cash on them. So when you're offering um, a, a product to them and they it's time to purchase, they might say something like, hey, I don't have any cash on me, so I'm sorry, or something like that, or can I get it later? You wanna get that cash and get them in a the moment right now. So a way you can do that is to collect credit cards. Offer your customer a different way of collecting or paying you for your product or service. Whether you're selling CDs, whether you're selling t-shirts, whether you are cutting somebody's grass, whether you are mowing their lawn, whatever your business is, whatever your hustle is, you wanna give them a different means to paying you. Now, with that being said, the thing that I use is an Apple device. I started off small and I graduated to this new device that I'm gonna show you right now. You can use my link down in the description to purchase one. It'll help the channel out a lot. <laughs> I appreciate that. Or you guys can go straight to apple.com and check it out. Plenty of YouTube videos available um, on these devices to show, them how to use, show you how to use them, but I'm not gonna get into the technicalities of it. Just know that if I can do it, you can do it. And it's very, very, very simple to use the devices. It enables you to collect credit cards with the chip on them or in an eight, or it also takes Apple Pay where you can just hover your phone above the device and it collects the money that way. If you go on apple.com, you'll see they have different devices. The first device that I recommend that you get is the Square Reader. Guys, the Square Reader I like because it's small, it can fit in your pocket, it charges up via USB, um, mini USB, just like if, for those of you guys that have Android phones or something like that, those uh, USBs with a little flat top, that's um, mini USB. And um, you can, people can use Apple Pay, which means they can like just hover their phone above the device when they're making their payment. Or if they want to use a credit card, it has an insert at the top of it where people can just insert their credit cards, which is really dope. Um, this device is just dope altogether, and for the price, you really can't beat it, $49.95. Um, it also has a little button on the side that you can push, and it'll tell you how much power is remaining. The charge lasts for a long time, and it's just a small, sleek device that I like a lot. I liked it so much that I went ahead and I bought this other device um, for it, which is the uh, dock, the dock for the Square Reader. The dock for the Square Reader, what it does is you can, uh, it's a real, real heavy base. It's, when I say it's heavy, like this thing has some weight to it. So like you can put your Square Reader, you can insert your Square Reader into it and you put this little clip at the top to secure it and you can um, plug it up, uh, plug up this uh, Square Reader base to like a wall or something like that when you add your Apple block, Apple brick to it and like you can have that thing plugged up all day. It's just a professional look. If you have like a setup, like a, a, if you're a t-shirt meet or swap meet as they call them, or like a flea market, or if you have a little storefront, um, it'll just make make things look more professional than just having the little tile, the little Apple square. Um, you can also integrate this with the Apple base if you wanna go that way. But I highly recommend buying the square reader and the dock but this other thing right here which is the base the base right here the square stand for the ipad now if you have all this stuff you can have the square stand for the ipad and then you can get yourself an ipad and a square stand and you can um really 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 look professional this is the look that you see at a lot of stores guys um a lot of um small businesses use it so um, if you have a, like a little storefront or something like that, then that's uh, not a lot to invest to get yourself looking that professional way like you have a cash register or something. They even have cash registers, but I don't know if they have it on the site. 
They actually do have it on the site somewhere, but I think you got to call them for that. I'm not sure. But if Apple doesn't sell it, then there's a, there have, it must be a third party company that sell it, sells it because I don't see it on the site actually. So um, yeah, guys, get yourself a square reader, get yourself the base for the square reader and you'll be good to go. Now, if you're really on a budget and you don't want to spend that much money investing in this stuff, you can get yourself a square reader mag strip. This thing is only $9.95, guys. And um, this is how I started off with this little square reader mag strip but now they have them for the newer phones with the USB-C uh, plugs right directly into the bottom of the phone so uh, you don't have to worry about any dongles or anything like that only, like I said it's only $9.95 this is small enough to fit in your pocket and it can also accept credit cards with the chip you can swipe the credit cards just like that insert the bottom of your phone like I said and um, yeah it's a really dope device you can also insert this into your iPad if you have a you know if you have an iPad and just walk around you want to be mobile and uh, these all different type of payment options guys because the number one thing when running your business number one thing is accepting payments and giving people different options to pay you the point of everything that we're doing right here trying to be self-sufficient trying to uh, be our own bosses is to be able to accept payment accept payment and get people to give you money and you want to give them options you want them to be safe you want their information to be safe and i just thought i want i want to share this guys with you with uh with you guys to give you guys a quick option that you can make your product and boom you can be out on the street selling your product you know whether it's music whether it's cds anything people are like oh man i don't have any cash on me i don't carry cash or whatever they have the option to pay you using their credit card or their debit card. You can, um, the, even the app, they have an app that they use with these devices. Very, very friendly, um, user friendly. And that's for another video because I don't want to make this video too long. You know, it's the Apple point of sale app. It's in the, it's in the um, Apple store. We'll make another video for that at another time, guys. But just a quick video I wanted to share with you guys that I thought was very, 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 very useful, especially when starting your business so you can be self-sufficient and quit your nine to five. Because remember, we don't have to get like a million people to support us as individuals trying to make our own income to sustain our way of living. We only need a group of a small amount of people to support us consistently. A small amount of fans to support you consistently can get you to leave your nine to five like I'm on my way to guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Um, a lot of people know about these devices. A lot of people don't know about these devices. So share it with your friends. Give this video a thumbs up and comment. If you um, comment in the comment section on how you accept your payments and what um, things you use. I know PayPal has something, but I don't think they have anything like this. I think Apple does it best. And Apple's now, they have some type of credit card they're coming out with, but um, we're not getting into all that. This is just about the payment system that they have, the option that you have. Because prior to this, you had to like, I remember when I first started my production company, A-Dub Productions, doing music, by the way. Another video, get into that another time. Um, this company wanted to charge me a monthly fee. They were going to give me this, this machine with the numbers on it and it was just a whole legal thing that you had to sign up it was just too much but 49.95 how much is this thing this thing is, is is dirt cheap and you can buy it and you can start collecting money straight to your bank account just like that guys it's your boy hope this is helpful like comment subscribe peace out a dub turn up that crank it up why listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby?